Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to build drag and drop feature using just HTML and CSS. Here you will be able to drag one element from one box to another and you can drag it back to a, the same box. So here we go. First of all, let us build a folder. Drag and drop. Now let us open this in Visual Studio Code. So now let us create HTML file in text.html CSS file style.css and JavaScript file app.js. So first of all, let us create our HTML here. Drag and drop. with next gen coder in the body first of all we will have one container that is div container I'll give it a class main container and inside this div there will be another div and I'll give it a class left container and there will be another div which will be right container okay inside this left container we will have all the list items so here let us create another div and I'll give it a class list and I will write draggable item 1 here I will give draggable attribute I will write true now let us copy it and paste it so I will take 5 element of such 2, 3, 4 and 5 and uh, right container will be empty and here I will add our script app.js so our HTML part is complete now let us add our CSS now let us add our so main CSS here for all element here I will give my margin 0 padding sorry not Padding 0, font family, sans serif, and box sizing. I will give border box. Now, after this, we'll add CSS to this main container. Dot main container. First of all, I will give it a width, width of 100%, and minimum height will be. 100 VH and background image here I will use gradient color so in order to use gradient color we have to use background image linear gradient so it will be from left to right so I'll write to right to right and just give your color I pick up some of my own color you can give of your own one three nine zero comma one seven one this will be one color and it will fade to other color like RGB RGB here eighty nine one one thirty nine now let us save now let us check our code is working in any browser so let us reload okay it's not working 
because we have connected our CSS file link then style style sheet and href will be style.css so here is our link then here our CSS is working fine now let's proceed further I will make it a flex box then align item center and justify content center and I will give color of the text to be white now after this see here this flex box center center it is it has come to the center now let us add CSS to that boxes right and left boxes these two boxes now let us copy first just here actually it shouldn't be class it should be id change it to id and here also change it to id for we i am using id because it make more specific choices here so that it doesn't confuse when i drag and drop elements so id it uh, make it more specific so hash right now right container here it will be right now let's add I'll give it a high sorry width of 200 pixel sorry not 280 pixel and minimum height of 400 pixels after this I'll give my margin of 10 pixel and border of 4 pixel dashed sorry here h dashed white so now let's check here it is our here it is the left box and here the right box so now let us design our list elements now dot list here I will give background RGB here 243 here 24 and here 64 so you can add your own colors by selecting from here but I find this colors quite good for me so I use this one you can use of your own then height will be 55 pixel margin I'll give 20 pixel and padding left I will give 20 pixel so now let's check so here it is our list elements are working fine now let's add some more style I'll make it a flex box flex align item center and cursor grab so it's looking fine so here we can drag it now we have to add javascript to add drag and drop so now let's go to our javascript file first of all let us select our list element let list document dot get element by class name there will be list here let a right container will be document dot get element by id right container let left container will be left container so here is our all list this is the right container 
and this is the left container. So now let's add code. Let add, I will use for loop to loop over the not for I I will use for of here list of list. Now I will add event listeners to the list. Add event listener and it is of drag start. Drag start here function me. So first of all, let us take our element that is passing through this function. So let dragged item will be equal to e dot target now we will be using this element here first let us consider right containers here i will be using add event listener so when the drag over when you drag over the right box drag over then we will prevent default here there should be nothing uh, just it will not run the event listener so it will work only when we drop the element in any particular box so here I will use me dot prevent default prevent default so this, this is what happens when you drag over now when you drop we write function for when you drop so we will add event listeners that is drop when it is drop then we will write a function then this function will get run help me here I will append the element to that container right container dot append child here I will add the drag element sorry item and after this I will set drag item to null so that we can select other drag element so now let's check if it is working now let us drag this element here yeah our drag from left to right is working fine now I will be working on drag right to left so just copy this to event listeners and paste here now in place of right container just make it left container and same thing for this also so now let's check here I can drag from left to right now we check for right to left here it is our code is working perfectly fine so that's what I have for you today I hope you like it and if you did just hit thumbs up and if you want more videos like this in future, just consider subscribing. And thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.